Have you ever experienced such poor dating app options that you literally had to lower your standards or else you'd never swipe right on anyone? Yeah, I think that's the reality all women face daily. So today we're using a tier list to rank the worst things you can find on a man's dating profile. The tier ranking system we've been given to work with are as follows. There's I don't really mind, which means this wouldn't deter me from swiping right at all. Then there's if I really have to, which means if this is the best option and there are no other options out there, then I'll swipe. Then there's I don't really want to, with emphasis on the really, which means I don't really want to swipe right, but I might. Then there's I don't want to, and the last tier is I cannot. Okay, up first we have homeowner, car owner, what more do you want? I mean, this is a little egotistical to say, but at least he has a home and a car, so I'll give him points for that. Um, I'll put it under, I don't really want to. Then there's, I just got out of a relationship. This at least shows that he's been in relationships before, so it's not totally negative, but it's definitely not ideal. So I'm gonna put it under, I don't really want to again. I'm ENFJ, and if you're not INTP, don't talk to me. Well, this is just kind of rude thing to say, but at least he knows exactly what he wants. So if I happen to be an INTP, which I don't think I am, but then I might think that if I really have to, I will, but it's not something, it's, it is something I would mind a little. Um, but where are you from at, but where are you actually from? That sounds mildly racist. So I'm gonna put that under, I cannot because definitely cannot. Then we've got guy who only has cartoon pics. I think that means he doesn't have any actual photos of himself. I would think that's a catfish situation and would immediately swipe left. Okay, if you're a zodiac sign or, or okay, so if you're a certain zodiac sign, we cannot get along. Again, I don't mind a man that knows about horoscopes and knows what he wants. So I would put under that, I don't really mind. A guy with Insta and Snapchat links on his profile only. Um, I don't. I wouldn't mind the Instagram, but Snapchat kind of sounds a little sleazy to me and kind of young. So I would put that under. I don't want to. Okay, a needy guy who sends you reminder messages. You know, I think that sending reminder messages can actually be kind of polite and show that he's very interested. So I would put that under, I don't really mind. One that has only has pet pics. I'm gonna assume that's him with his pet. So I would put that under, I don't really mind because I love animals and I think most women do. Um, a guy who only has car pics, okay. Depends on how nice the car is, I guess, but I'm gonna put that under if I really have to because that seems kind of shallow. Okay, same guy you said no to on multiple other apps. Okay, I cannot. Yeah. Um, someone that says, that's not my baby. Okay, so he's holding a baby and he just is clarifying that it's not his. Maybe he's the uncle or something. I wouldn't mind that. I think it shows that he can get along with children and likes kids, which is always a good thing. Okay, a guy who answers everything with three words or less. I don't really mind that. He just shows that maybe he didn't want to put a lot of effort and thought into his dating profile. He could be a lot more communicative in person. So I would say I don't really mind. Okay, I want someone who feeds me. Okay, that sounds a little mama's boy like. So I'm gonna put that under, I don't want to. A guy holding a fish, definitely not. So overdone and it's disgusting. Fishing is gross. Okay, looking for a wifey. Um, you know, at least this shows that he's interested in committing. It's a little bit weird to say on your dating profile, but I'm gonna say I don't really mind. Wow, I have a lot more under I don't really mind then. I thought I would. Okay, the if you like pineapple on your pizza, we won't fit. 
I agree with that. Pineapple on pizza is gross, so I don't mind that at all. Okay, a guy with the same pose in every single photo. I don't mind that. Maybe he just knows his good side and how he how he looks good in photos. Okay, a guy who dislikes a girl who expresses her, her opinions? No. That is sh chauvinist behavior. No, thank you. I've never dated an Asian before, or I think Asians are the best. Um, that is also very racist sounding. I don't think you should really bring, be bringing up race on your dating profile or ethnicity. So I'm gonna say I cannot. Okay, a guy who just wants to pick a fight. Ooh, I cannot. That's the worst to have someone who wants to take out their aggression on you. That's, that's scary. That's some scary stuff. A douche flag. Okay. I'm gonna say I cannot because it sounds like a not very nice person. Okay, a guy with all topless pics. Well, if he looks good in them, it's a, it is a little douchey, but I'm gonna say if I really have to. A crypto guy. Don't mind that at all. It's, a great way to invest, actually. So, it's it's always a good thing to have investments, I think. Uh, okay, my dream date is anywhere with you. That is cute! Okay, I know it's a little cheesy, but I don't, I don't mind that. Okay, a guy who only wants to get laid? Ugh. I cannot. No. Thank you. Trump supporter guy. I think, you know, this really depends on your own personal political preferences. Personally, I cannot. Okay, a guy who doesn't ask any questions back. Well, I'm gonna say I don't want to just because I cannot is getting really, really full. But, um, you know, it could be different when you meet in person, but you know, sometimes dating apps can be deceiving. But that it definitely is not a positive, um, positive part. And a pick, okay, I cannot. <laughs> that is so inappropriate. Okay, beige flag guy. Oh, that's not bad to have a beige flag. Okay, I just had to look up what an Ahigao t-shirt is and it's kind of disturbing. So I'm gonna put that under, I cannot. Then there's unintentionally racist. No, there's... Being racist is unacceptable, always. Okay, a guy who takes three days to reply, hmm, it's not ideal, but, you know, it's not showing a lot of effort, but it could just mean that he's just not on his phone that much, and he has other things going on. So it's, I'm gonna put that under if I really have to. Um, someone that says, I don't want, I don't know what to say on these bios. Ugh. <laughs> That's actually very annoying. Um, it's, it. I mean, some people, it is awkward, I guess, to, to create your dating profile, but at the same time, you know, there are so many prompts that you can just answer and you're just wasting space by writing that. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put that under, I don't want to, it's not horrible, but it's, it's annoying and and it kind of makes you sound like you're too good for the dating profile or too good for the dating app, which is why are you on it and at all? Okay, someone that's actually racist, again, I cannot. Um, someone that has a bad pickup line. Okay. If someone's, if the pickup line is just kind of cheesy, I don't mind because it could be kind of funny or I don't know. I don't really mind that. Okay, and then we have flat earth guy. That's an I cannot because I need someone that believes in science. Um, gymming is my personality, gym bro. You know, I can respect taking care of yourself. Um, and it might kind of come off like the that's his personality. So I'm just gonna put that under, I don't really mind. So there you have it folks, the best and worst traits a man can have when it comes to dating. Drop a like if you wanna see more videos like this and I'll see you next time.